My name is Charmaine Pereira. I live in Abuja. I'm a feminist scholar activist. Um, I actually wear many hats. So in my scholarly work, I um, work on issues to do with gender, sexuality and violence, um, but also the politics of intellectual production. Um, right now, I'm, um, I've just finished editing the latest issue of Feminist Africa, which is a scholarly journal um, produced on the continent. Um, and it's the last one for a while. So it's a special issue on the theme of feminist organizing, strategy, voice, and power. Um, on the panel, what's new in African feminisms? We had um, Mona El Tahawi, Yoma Obibi, and me. Um, it was a very interesting debate that Hannah Poole moderated. Uh, I think some of the things that really struck me were the sense in which context is so critical. So the political, social and cultural context um, within which women and feminism is situated. We didn't talk about the economic that much, but that's also very important. Um, so the context in Egypt is um, quite different from that in Nigeria. But I think the thing that uh, came out of that part of the conversation was how periods of political transition can be um, very problematic ones for women with regard to gender and sexuality, how their, um, their bodies can become the subject of uh, much more intense and repressive policing than um, prior to that time. Um, we had um, a number of questions from the audience that um, you know showed they were very interested. In fact, I it, it was um, uh, it was good to see that there were so many people um, present. The hall was full, um, and um, one thing that I did want to get across to people is that. There is feminist work produced by African women um, available on the continent, but not many people seem to know that it's there. And the journal Feminist Africa, which is available free, is the only scholarly journal working in that area that one can access um, on the internet. The reason I think it's important to be a feminist is because feminism um, provides both an intellectual uh, grounding in the nature of the problems um, that one is grappling with in order to arrive at a political goal. And when I say political here, I don't mean party politics. I mean political in the sense of changing power relations. Um, for me, feminism is really about removing all sources of oppression that affect women. So patriarchy is part of that, um, but uh, changing economic conditions that make it hard for poor men as well as poor women, but which affect um, poor women in a way that's very different in a, in a, than for poor men, in a way that's gendered, which um, uh, affects their sexuality as well. The, one needs to have an understanding of what kinds of problems um, this causes uh, in order to work towards dismantling those different um, structures. And uh, I wouldn't say there is a correct um, way of being a feminist or a correct meaning of feminism. People do come to it with different emphases. But I think that you can't um, abstract from it the fact that there is both this political project of changing power relations and in order to do that, a simultaneously an intellectual project of um, needing to understand our worlds better. This is the first time I've been to Ake, so um, it's inspiring to see so many people who are interested in 
um, in reading, in culture, in, in asking questions. In Writers really treasure how one can use language to, to create meaning, to tell stories. Um, and so when they talk about their work, or when they moderate panels where other writers talk about their work, it's, it's beautiful to listen to. So, yeah, I thank Ake for that. Mm -hmm.